in this example, we show using Dask with QDF, a GPU pandas implementation, on the NYC taxi data set. Uh, this example is near and dear to my heart because I've given this many times with Dask and pandas. So it's nice seeing this existing example work well with the new library, QDF. So the situation here is that we have a bunch of CSV files. These show the uh, taxi ride trips for every ride in the city of New York. This is the year 2015, but the data is there for lots of years. We want to read that those files uh, with something like pandas and then do some simple operations on them. Uh, this would be slow normally on a single computer. Uh, the pandas CSV reader runs at around 50 megabytes per second. There's around 20 gigabytes on disk. So that's you know several minutes of, of waiting. Uh, here I'm using a DGX, which has eight GPUs all on one machine. So it'll be quite a bit faster. So I'm going to import Dask QDF and then just point it at my pile of CSV files. You can see the star here in the file name. Uh, normally I do this on something like Google Cloud Storage or S3, but here the data is local. So on the right, we're going to see the activity of each of our eight GPUs. And every box you're seeing on each of the lines, each line corresponds to one GPU. And every box here corresponds to uh, the creation of one QDF data frame after reading one 256 megabyte, 256 megabyte chunk from our data set. So that all ran in something like you know, six seconds or so, reading 20 gigabytes, we're, we're moving quickly. So once that's done, we can do simple operations with the pandas syntax. Here we're selecting out the passenger count column and computing sum. These operations are happening again on our eight GPUs. So we're able to sum those you know, 150 million rows. We find that a, about a quarter billion people rode in a cab, presumably some of them many times. Uh, so again, those are happening each sum of every chunk of our data frame is happening at sort of the millisecond or sub millisecond level. There's some overhead from scheduling. There's some communication as we move data results around and we add the results together. That was a very simple sort of map reduce style computation. We summed all of the intermediate parts. We then summed their sums. That's very simple to do. Something maybe, maybe a bit more complex. We might see how well New Yorkers tip. So we're going to select out some bad rows. There were some free rides in New York City. We're going to remove them from our data set. We're going to make a, a new column, uh, which is the tip fraction. So the tip amount divided by the, by the fair amount. Is it a 10% tip or 20% tip? We're making a new column, which is the hour of the day. So you know, is it a, a 5 o'clock ride or a 6 o'clock ride? We're going to group by the hour, compute the tip fraction, and compute the average. So we're going to see how well the rides were at you know, at noon or at 5 p.m., when do you get higher tips? So this all looks hopefully like normal pandas code uh, and it follows the same API, uh, but now it's using Dask for parallelism and QDF for GPU acceleration. We're seeing that our eight GPUs are being well used here and every chunk of computation here is being nicely interleaved. The result we get out here is a normal pandas data frame. So we're seeing that, you know, Across the hours of the day, from midnight to noon to midnight, New Yorkers are pretty generous. It's about a 25% tip on average. Let's go ahead and plot that. One of the nice parts about Rapids is that it's just Python. So you get to use all of the existing Python tooling as well, like Jupyter or Matplotlib. And we see here the nice surprising result that tips were surprisingly generous at 4 a.m. There's a spike up here at 38%, uh, so 38% on average. So again, that's showing Dask data frame with QDF, the Rapids library that mimics pandas on the New York City tax cap data set. I normally do this demonstration on a cluster and it's nice to do it on just a single machine now and still have it be as fast, if not faster.